Betting is open. The following champion versus champion contest. This is a is cashed in one title one shot, so there are no counts. Northern Championship. There is always next time. You don't win this time, there's always next time. Hillbilly Jim recently won the title last night at our main event seven. Hillbilly Jim is 57 20 and 1. Actually, it's going to be 58 20 and 1. He did defend the Hello Kitty title in a cash in title shot against uh, Cowboy Kurt. He is 2 and 1 against James Johnson. It is possible, Don. I think we've seen somebody win with like one, but I'm not sure. Yes, yeah, sometimes that does happen. Carrie is keeping track of the win stats. So who's won and what that percent advantage is. And Carrie is number one. That's not rigged at all. <laughs> I am number zero because I don't enter. Hillbilly Jim is owned by Hillbilly Jim. One of the greatest guys you're ever going to meet. And he, But he doesn't like ketchup on hot dogs. So there is that too. So he's not perfect? He's not perfect. Here is James Johnson, the Canadian champion. That's the only title on the line here. 10, 3, and 0 overall. His one win against Hillbilly Jim came uh, when Chase Johnson first joined our federation. Since then, it's been two losses straight to Jim. He's you owned are by Maximum Hatred. The only kind of hatred allowed here because. No drama. No hate, please. No hate. I mean, you can fake hate me, but no real hate, please. No. Yeah, no just Lisa like Hillbilly believes. Jim. I believe, too. I don't know who to vote for, though. Vote. Bet. How many pills do I got? To be totally honest, I don't give a hoot what you put on your hot dogs. I mean... No. Introducing uh, the challenger from Kentucky. Weighing in well, Jim, what if you put poop pounds. on your hot dogs? That he that wouldn't be good. I mean, I, I would care. Hillbilly Jim. Okay. Um, we're going to bet on Chains. Screw it. Chains, I'm going all in on you. Champion from New York. Weighing in at all in, Chains. He is the Don't Northern let me champion. down. I'm never supposed to bet against the gym, but I just did. And now it's all going to be on Chains' shoulders. <laughs> this is why you have no doubt. That is true. Yep. <laughs> uh, no way. No way. I would. Ne I don't jinx. What are you talking about? It's no the way. commentator jinx. Here we go. And your betting jinx. Yeah, no jinxes. You can put sauerkraut on your dogs, and I don't care. Hey, that sauerkraut does sound good, actually. I think I'd probably need sauerkraut on something. I like coleslaw, but I know it's different, right? But I like coleslaw just on its own. But sauerkraut, I don't know if I could eat that. I, I don't think I could eat that just by itself. No, it's usually a so, topping. Yeah, I could put that on a dog. Sure. You did kimchi last week. I definitely have never had that. My beautiful woman needs to, like, help this time. Yes? Maybe she will. Was the kimchi spicy as well? I mean, that's, that's pickled vegetables. Mm. It 
was very pickled. Wow, Hillbilly Jim going to the top. Jim is being very aggressive. He wants it all. Well, he misses <laughs> the flying He was elbow. too aggressive. <laughs> flying Hillbilly Jim. See, that's the thing. We can't, like, I actually looked at his moveset because I was like, Hillbilly Jim is not supposed to be, like, a high flyer. But there are some stuff that you cannot remove, you know? So you, like, like there's just stuff he's going to go up there. I was just gonna say sauerkraut tastes really bad on a hot dog. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I would I would give it a go. Like I would do sauerkraut just on its own with a dog to see what that tastes like. Not add in ketchup or mustard. Uh, just sauerkraut to get what what does that taste like? And then if I don't like it, but maybe it tastes uh -huh. better when it's maybe with the it, hot dog and not by itself. But maybe it would taste better with mustard too. And then I would I would give that a go, unless the sour credit really didn't work, right? So it's good with some onions on a hot dog. Okay. I get the string again. Get your spinner. It's a fajet spinner. You could have spun that during the Batman match. Oh, so you're saying we need to do a, a rematch? No. No, you can definitely have no high flying moves, really. Really? Because I thought when I was having a look at it, I didn't have the option for none. Do you have to replace it with another move? No, no. So it's quite common. Okay, sauerkraut, raw onion, and banana pepper. Hmm. I would try. Actually, it is quite common with a bratwurst or a Polish sausage. Oh, sausage, man. <laughs> mm. You can't go to Oktoberfest then. No. Mm. I would go just for the beer. Just for the beer, you need this. Yes. We need a driver. <laughs> That's okay. I would need one. Eh? eh? Anyways, <laughs> wouldn't matter how much food I had. As soon as I took a sip. Oh, oh, I don't have any more pebbles to do the highs. I should have saved one pebble. Damn it. <laughs> Damn old poop. Oh, Chain's fighting back. You have to remove the high fire skill. Oh. Like in the OMG skills? Hmm. Oh, Chain's going in for the cover after his roundhouse. Hillbilly Jim kicks out. Oh, man. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Chains is like, come on. Big clothesline. Holy crap. Trips him down. Roll. Oh, Ill Billy Jim rolls him up in a small package. Two. What? <laughs> three. Ill Billy Jim steals <laughs> it. <laughs> What? Oh, Max is going to be pissed. It's going to be like, <laughs> what? Hillbilly Jim starts his second reign <laughs> as champion of all reality. Surprising chains with that small package roll up. Surprising everybody. Holy crap. That's not one of his that. regulars. Look uh, at that. Moves. Wow. Wow. Here is your winner and new Northern Champion, Hillbilly Jim. And she, look at Quinn's. Shut up. <laughs> Tell you, shut up. 
He is the champion of all reality. A second time. Let's see how long he can go. The first time he went 20 days until he lost the title. You told Max the outcome, so... Oh, no. <laughs> Congratulations, Hillbilly Jim. Well earned. Well earned. 